Millie Gibson, yeah. the new Doctor Who companion, Connor. Yeah. Walk us through it in a sentence or two what happened. I'm sure everyone knows by now, so we'll do it briefly. So I was driving home from work on Friday, got a little uh, little ping Bing. on Twitter, Doctor Who Twitter, got it on notifications saying nice. that we are going to find out who the new companion is mm. in the Children in Need 2022 special. Whoa. Or 2002, 2022 That would be special. strange because she, she wasn't born in 2002. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah, Millie Gibson, which is, um, yeah, our new companion who's playing Ruby Sunday, which is a classic R2D name, which I joked about in my little mm-hmm. video breakdown that I did. Um, yeah, no, I, I think it's, like we said before, I think it's amazing casting. Uh, I'm, I am I also said in my video, my, my sister's a, a big uh, Coronation Street fan. Oh, so I yes. messaged her. She's on holiday at the moment. And I was like do you know this person? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, it's a new companion. She's like, I wonder why she just left Coronation Street <laughs> randomly. I wonder why she went up the stairs and never came back. I never came back. Yeah, I'm <laughs> popping out for some milk and never came back. And good on her, you know, what a glow up. But yeah, she is, she is 18. So she's very, probably, is this the youngest companion we've ever had? I would be curious to know how young, um, bloody Susan, Susan was, Ford Caroline Ford. Ford. Yeah, so I was, yeah, I said it was the youngest companion, just uh, hoping that it was. I've heard a lot of people say that, so I don't think you're you're alone. Yeah, no. she's definitely the youngest in you who. Definitely, um, it's yeah. so interesting because like when you first saw those pics, I was like, oh, she doesn't look eighteen. But then when you start seeing like clips yeah. of her like talking, um, you're kind of like, oh, she's yeah, she's quite young. Which is which I think is, it's got to be nice because you can tell that I think Russell, in a good way, is looking at okay. The revival works so well. Like, series one works so well. Let's, like, look at that and, like, obviously modernize it, do different things to it. But let's just look at the formula that works so well there, which is obviously, like, a doctor and then a young companion. Um, you know, Chris and and Billy, once again, quite an attractive-looking, quite a very 2005 attractive-looking couple. Um, and they've, they've sort of come on and done it again, I think, here. Uh, and, yeah, it, it's so... But it's so, like... She's like a young blonde, same as Rose. I think I read somewhere that she's going to be working in a shop. I don't know where that source was from, but I'm like, they really are just doing the whole sort of like Rose thing again. I think that's a fair argument. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's really good. I'm actually really happy with it. Um, yeah, look, obviously like she is quite young and I know that it's a very big thing for someone at 18 to be. It's like a huge responsibility. I hope that... it. It's, it's scary the fact like it's going to be such a huge thing to do. Yeah, massive um, for her. But I I know that Shudi said that the second she left the room that uh, Shudi was present at the casting, which again makes sense. But I know that he said the second that she left the room, he was like, Russell, that's who we, that's who we need to that's have. It. She's the one. And I feel but... like that kind of... Um, if Shudi said it and if Russell agrees and like I, I have I have faith in that but of course it actually got confirmed as well that she would be intru- introducing the um, the festive special correct for 2023 so that we'll would see be see her at Christmas very shortly after the um, the 60th specials yeah so yeah nah it'd be 